and welcome to Daybreak. Uh, Joe Young, the village manager of Oxford, uh, is our regular host for Daybreak, and, and he's out of town this week, so um, I'm going to uh, sit in for Joe. I'm Deb Duran with the Oxford Chamber of Commerce, and today we have with us Teresa Say with Lioness America. Before we get started with talking about Lioness, I'd like to just give you a rundown of, of what's happening around town here. Um, first of all, the Chamber being very involved in so many things now, uh, uh, last April, in April, we had our mix and mingle at Casa Real. We had a number of folks there, both chamber members and non-chamber members, and we had a wonderful time. Thank you, Casa Real. Uh, our next mix and mingle is going to be on the last Thursday of May, which is May 28th, and um, Sullivan's Public House is going to host that for us. We've been there before, and they are a wonderful, wonderful host. Coming up in May, we have on May 9th, uh, 19th, I'm sorry, uh, the grand opening and ribbon cutting for HealthQuest. As many of you know, HealthQuest has been in Oxford for uh, 10 years now and they've moved to their new facility. So the, bu the building is absolutely gorgeous. You're going to love being there and that ribbon cutting is going to take place at 4.30, once again on May 19th. Then for the Chamber on uh, May 31st, this is our second annual uh, Chamber Challenge a Run and Walk. It's a 5K walk and run and a 10K run. Uh, we have a number of sponsors that I'd like to be able to share with you. Our key sponsor is White House Village Shops. Then our gold sponsor is Genesis Credit Union. Silver sponsors, we have Body Engineer Fitness. Building Your Temple Fitness, Burdick Street Landscape, Cam Property Services, Carter Quality, Hardwood Flooring, Lapeer County Bank and Trust, HealthQuest Physical Therapy and Medical Fitness, Spartan Nutrition, and SidFit LLC. Bronze sponsors are Simple Organics and Sam's Club. Sam's Club is uh, kindly donating the water and bananas for all of our runners. So as everybody knows, you need that nutrition after you're all done running. Um, next thing's coming up, um, the Oxford Learning Center. They are starting their um, summer kindergarten readiness camp. And this is free for all students that are five years old. And it runs from June 8th to July 31st. This is a wonderful event that uh, they've been putting on and it's so good for our kids starting up in kindergarten to, to learn mm -hmm. this process. Um, and not fi <laughs> finally, we have the Girlfriends Walk. And the Girlfriends Walk has been going on for a number of years now and they do this twice a year. Mm -hmm. And on June uh, 24th, from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m., they bring in what has been known to be 1,500 to nearly 2,000 people oh. into the community and they have a wonderful, wonderful time and everyone coming in just thoroughly enjoys this. So for right now, that's it for um, the Chamber Up News. Uh, we are still taking um, runners applications, so please, be, uh, you know, don't ha hesitate to sign up. You can go out on our website www.oxfordchamber.net. The application's right out there, and you would really, you're going to have a fun, fun time. Also, coming up in the community, we have the Lone Ranger Festival. This is going to be the third annual parade, Lone Ranger Parade, and this year they're going to be having a trading post where we're going to have a number of vendors uh, from all over, food vendors. Uh, we're looking at the possibility of mu uh, a lot of different musicians and such. And Lisa Renaud is the one who is in charge of that, and she is your point person. So um, that is taking place August 1st. And it's looking to be uh, a big, the parade, oh my goodness, there's so many entries that have been started to f uh, file in for the parade. It's really going to be a lot of fun. So now uh, I'd like to take this time, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> to introduce Teresa Say. Teresa Say is a chamber member, of course, um, and Teresa has lived here in Oxford for over 25 years. 
She and she's also been a small business owner. Uh, her four daughters have graduated from Oxford High School and Teresa now has been involved with Lioness for about three years. And the growth of Lioness in the United States now, Teresa's going to give you the whole background about Lioness, but uh, coming here into the United States, it's just beginning to start, and we are looking for its way to find its way here into Oxford. So, Thanks, Teresa, uh, welcome. Well, thank you. I'm so excited to be sharing the news about Lioness uh, with you, with the viewers, because as you said, it, although it's a three-year-old company, um, people are thinking, well, it's something new, and I've never heard of it. Mm -hmm. But when I was introduced to Lioness uh, just well, over three years ago, it was uh, through someone that I had never met, and it was uh, a contact from California who was looking for people who are entrepreneurial because of this new idea. And they found you. Yes. And guess what? It's, kind of it's time for us to take a break, and awesome. we're going to come back, and we're going to get everybody excited into the Lioness program. I look forward to sharing. All Thank right. You. Thanks. Welcome back to Daybreak. Just before our break, I was talking with Teresa, and she kind of left us hanging here about <laughs> Lioness. So let's get restarted back into that, okay, Teresa? Absolutely. Well, as you said, there was this uh, idea that, oh, there's something new. And um, what, when I started doing the research on the company, it's not new at all. And that's what really got me excited about it. Lioness started in 2003 in Austria. Mm -hmm. And so having a track record of over, at the time, almost 10 years, you know, now we're going over 12 years of being in business, this country, the company is already in over 45 countries. Amazing. But we're new. And a lot of times, I don't know, we, we kind of think that we're coming up with all the big ideas in the United States, but it was like, wait a minute, something's going on all over the globe, and we're just finding out about it. So it was a very exciting uh, prospect that, wow, there's some information coming, and it was talking about small communities. And as you said, I've been in the community uh, through business and, and living here for like 30 years in there. And I was always looking for um, how to make the business better, how to plug in uh, to the community and the give back. And being part of small business ownership, I just know the business owners in this community and others, we love to give back. Absolutely. And every time there's a economic slump or a turn down, Sometimes that's one of the first things that has to, you know, stop, and, and that affects everybody, as you know, uh, the schools and the community. So this got me excited, and that's why I wanted to share with you the possibilities about Linus, why I'm very passionate about getting this to our Oxford community. Um, but we've got, uh, we, Linus is doing what we're already doing anyway, and that was fun to me. These are some local restaurants, local businesses here in Oxford, and it's their loyalty cards. Right. Yep. I don't know about you, but if a business offers me a loyalty card, one of the first questions I say is, well, is it going to cost me anything? You know, <laughs> that's what I want to know. And what do I get? So everybody likes a good deal. And we like to know that our shopping brings back something. So loyalty cards are already being done. Mm -hmm. So I find out Lioness is a loyalty program. But what's interesting is that it's dealing with both sides of that issue. For shoppers, huge benefits. Mm -hmm and for merchants. And so I was intrigued right from the beginning to find out what is this doing. And because it's global, it seemed too big. True, very big. Right? It's and very big. So if you talk to a small merchant, a small business owner mm -hmm. here in Oxford, um, and you're talking about a global program, the first thought is, well, I'm small. It's too much. It's too big. And, um, but this is actually geared towards small businesses. And so it's taken a while as the program is developing in the United States because we are the shopping, uh, you know, gurus of the planet. Exactly. And so Lioness America has grown tremendously by coming into the United States. Uh, when it first started, I was adapting to the, all the materials were in German. And so <laughs> in three years' time, it's, you know, it's really grown to uh, accommodate our shopping community. Isn't so. that funny that something that normally the Americans seem to be the ones that, that start and then it goes out into the European countries. And here, this is a business, if I understand correctly, that started in Europe, 
and is now just coming to the United States. That's exactly. what is so, so exciting. Exactly. Yes. And it, it is a great fit for the United States. And what's passionate for me is being a business owner is I have something that I can bring to the local business owners and more. Mm -hmm. um, but it's good for families. And as you know, business owners are families, they're exactly. individuals and, and families. So what we have is a shopping program mm -hmm. that um, we offer a, a beautiful cashback card. Okay, it's beautiful, it's colorful, and our shoppers get benefits for shopping. But the fun part is, is Lioness sets up a whole platform of shopping. So we have an online shopping platform. It's actually the largest online shopping platform. Oh and my goodness. So our shoppers can go there and get cash back when they shop. Mm -hmm. which, who doesn't want cash back? Exactly. We have a loyalty card. So we can go online to our Lioness site and shop online. That's great. We can shop with all these national merchants that are partnered with Lioness and uh, we can go get gift cards for them. And these are things that are like groceries and gasoline. Mm -hmm. So it's not just shopping that's, you know, out, out there that not everybody's doing. This is meeting where the family's expenses are. Where, where are you spending money? Do you have to buy pet food this month? You know, do right. you have to go get some prescriptions taken care of? Are you getting your hair cut or your dog groomed? Everyday life expenses. Mm -hmm. We can move through our program and the benefit goes back to the family and the merchant. And uh, that's what captured my attention because one thing I do know for sure, and I think you'll agree, um, I went shopping last week and I went shopping this week. I'm pretty sure that even though I went grocery shopping, it's not the only grocery shopping I'll ever do. Exactly. I'm probably going to go grocery shopping again. We are always shopping. Right. And so <laughs> what Lioness has done is we get to make a little bit of money on all the shopping that is happening in our families and in our communities. Mm -hmm. And it keeps our shopping dollars local. Exactly. I mean, are, have we heard in the Chamber of Commerce, all of our downtown events, shop local. It's right, that's what we, that is what we promote, shop local. Exactly. And to have a program like this where we're already referring yeah. business to business, yes. why not get cash back for that? Yeah. It, it's just, and it will keep so many people in the town, in our, in our area, to shop local. Exactly. Continue. This is yeah. exciting. Well, I guess when, when I'm holding up these cards, the membership is free. Oh, my. And, it, and it's always free. So it's not just free today and then next year you have to pay a dues or an annual fee. It's always free. And I thought that was really fascinating. Um, now, I didn't have to pay for any of these cards no. either. Mm -mm. But what was fun to find out is that I have to do X amount of shopping to get a benefit. And that's great. But everything that I buy through Lioness, everything, mm -hmm. whether it's a candy bar or an appliance or even a car that I can get through Lioness, I'm getting cash back. So, yes, that was fascinating. But what really intrigued me was the merchant program. It's like, okay, so if it's new in the United States, I have some places that I can shop right now. Mm -hmm. But uh, coming into this with uh, more of an entrepreneurial eye, saying there's something new here, what can I do to bring this program to my community? It's the merchants. That is the key element, and it's the whole heartbeat that Lioness has, the whole program. It's global, it's huge. We have actually award-winning technology. We have an award-winning winning app for our merchants mm -hmm. and our shoppers, and this is exciting. You can find out where you can shop locally. You can, your, your card is actually right on your smartphone, so mm -hmm. you don't even have to carry a card with you. Mm -hmm. And when I was finding out all these things that are fitting into the program, I thought, what do our merchants need? And, and, and being a merchant for, you know, all these years, I'm thinking, I want more customers. Absolutely. <laughs> you can never have too many customers. Right. Never. And the bottom line, I want to sell more product. I want to have more services going into my community. And these loyalty programs are great, mm -hmm. but they are cumbersome. They're costly. And a lot of times, difficult to manage for a small business owner because they're, you know, they're going to be the rock star of their business. Yes. When they have to start adding the programs and figuring out how to really be in the marketplace and promote their business, it's very costly. And it's part of advertising. It is. I mean, until you walk into that business, you have no idea if they have a rewards program or not. Right. But if they want the community to know that, they have to then 
advertise it exactly. whether it be in the newspaper on OCTV even Correct. you know they can come out here and advertise here too right. but with Lioness tell the difference what takes place when you become a small merchant business with Lioness what happens with their advertising yeah it's an incredible benefit and right off the bat I there were some significant um, differences mm -hmm. The first one being, as you pointed out, advertising. Advertising dollars for our local merchants, our local businesses right here in Oxford, you have to put the money out ahead of time. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of money, whether it's media, um, you know, print, whether it is radio time, television time, that money goes out ahead of time. And it's great. These are traditional means of reaching, you know, your market. And so that it's not that there's anything wrong with it, but when the business owner is staying so busy just keeping their doors open which is mm -hmm. what we do right and taking care of their business they really want to know that their advertising is producing the result which is bring the, bringing new customers in mm -hmm. and what lioness does is it has a flip-flop philosophy which is a lot of fun because you don't pay anything until a sale happens so we've got something now where the merchant has complete proof positive that the program works. Mm -hmm. The other thing that's different is traditional marketing goes out to a whole community and says, hey, I'm going to try and hit all of these households and let them know I'm here. Lioness has an exclusive community of shoppers. Ah. And so we're marketing directly to people who are already carrying a cashback card, mm -hmm. who want to spend their dollars at a merchant involved with Lioness because they're going to get these benefits. Cash back with every purchase and shopping points. And shopping points are exciting because, and we, we're familiar with that with our loyalty programs. We want points. Oh, right? we sure do. I yes, we do. do. And so with Linus, you collect shopping points everywhere you shop using one card, even if it's online, mm -hmm. even if it's through our gift cards, even if it's in a small merchant. All of those shopping part, points collect together. Okay. So it's just not using them at one store that I collected them at. It's for a whole mass. They all come together and you can use them for special deals that our merchants put out. Wonderful. Well, a lot of benefits. Let's, let's keep our audience hanging here and we're going to take a <laughs> short break and be right back with Teresa Say and Lioness America. Thank you. <laughs> this is OCTV, Oxford Community Television, serving Oxford and Addison Townships with the best in local programming on Charter Channel 191, AT&T U-verse Channel 99, and our website, occtv.org. OCTV, we provide local programming that brings you closer to home. Welcome back to Daybreak. Boy, this has been an exciting <laughs> interview with Teresa Say. Uh, we were talking about the benefits that of being a, uh, a small merchant business advertising that takes place but tell us more I'm excited okay well let's transition from the we've got being a shopper mm -hmm. and I think being a shopper is that's it if, if you are a business owner you need shoppers and Linus is so awesome about creating the shopping community yes so we've talked a few benefits cash back shopping points mm -hmm. there's also another great part of it that I haven't talked about yet and that is we, what we call a friendship bonus. Now, I'm pretty sure that when you go to any other company, any other business, and you get a loyalty card, mm -hmm. it's great. And you get a benefit for yourself for shopping there and making your purchases. And very often, referral marketing has been forever. It's the strongest, oh my gosh, word of mouth, that's how you're going to... Perfect advertising. It is. So, if you share from another company, um, let's say... Uh, Panera. I like Panera. Okay. Now, if I go tell you, hey, Debbie, I had a great sandwich at Panera, you know, you should go there. I mean, it's still a great idea. Absolutely. But Panera's not going to pay me for that. Mm -mm. No, you'll get a good lunch. And that was free advertising. <laughs> and that was free advertising. Free advertising for them. Mm -hmm. Lioness takes it even a step further. So we do get cash back. We get shopping points for my purchases, mm -hmm. everything I buy. But if I share that with a friend, I can actually refer a friend, and they join Lioness, and Lioness will pay me every time they shop, no matter where they shop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I thought that was a crazy amazing component that made Lioness stand out even more. And so a friendship bonus goes to anybody that I refer, and we're always referring. 
Yes. If I refer a good meal to my friend, I'm not going to get paid if they go to that restaurant, but with Lioness I will. Mm -hmm. If they go to a Lioness merchant and have a meal and I have registered them, Lioness will pay me. And not only that, if my friend refers their friend, which why wouldn't they? Exactly. I also get paid every time that they shop, make a purchase. Isn't that incredible? And there's going to be people that you're going to be earning friendship bonuses on yeah. that you don't even know because right. they're a friend of a friend that you signed up. And shopping was happening anyway. It was. We've we all shop. <laughs> We, we know that. We agreed we're not ever going to stop shopping. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And so the shopping component is amazing. To get back to the merchant mm -hmm. uh, component, um, the merchants have the a website that contains uh, what we call our CRM component. We have a partnership with Salesforce.com. Oh. Now, Salesforce.com deals in the big pond with the big fish mm -hmm. and Facebook and Google. They do the brand strategies and, and customer relationship management for Coca-Cola. So Whoa. this company is working globally to um, strengthen and shore up big business. They could never touch the small business market. No. We're too many. And we're, we can't afford what they have. Mm -hmm. So this year we've made a strategic alliance with Salesforce, not a client, but an actual partnership because they tapped into the leverage that Lioness has with our small businesses. Mm -hmm. And now our small businesses have Salesforce technology right at their fingertips and it's free for them for the first year just to try out when they become a merchant. Wow. And it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. They can keep track and the, the program takes care of everything for them. So it's not an additional stress, no additional cost to the merchant. They can kind of see how powerful they can uh, take this technology and figure out who is their this best does customer. All, all the tracking. It's, it all does the tracking. all the tracking. And every time a customer registers with them, um, all, the, all that demographic information, and you can just say, how much business do I have in a week? Where's my biggest business day? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who is that? What's the age group of my customers? And you can merge the databases if they already have one. That's mm -hmm. great. But what we're doing is offering the business owners web presence, our lioness.com site, shows the small business owner right next to a national merchant. They would never be able to afford that. No. Mm -mm. And that's exciting. So let's say you have a small hardware store, they could be right up advertised right next to something as large as Home Depot. Yep. And that, that wasn't going to happen for free. No. So this is included. All of our marketing strategies are included for the merchant, including the mobile app. That's free. This mobile mm -hmm. app will promote our local businesses. Just with a touch, I'm, as a shopper, I can say, where can I go shopping? I want to get my hair done. I need to get my dog groomed. Mm -hmm. I need to get my car fixed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know yeah. that one. I've been without a car now for three weeks, so I really wanted a merchant to fix my yes. car. But that's coming. But I can, I can find out where I can shop because I am fiercely loyal to yes. merchants that are in Lioness because I get paid. Exactly. And I want my friends to shop at Lioness. So it's a different marketing strategy. And it doesn't matter where you're at because mm -hmm. right now, if you were to go out to, let's just say Medford, Oregon, yes. <laughs> and you've got your phone, yes. you just hit your phone and it will tell you all the merchants that have already registered out there. Yes. Medford is a community that's uh, just a little bit larger than yes. Oxford. Yes. And they have really grown yes. in their SME program, which right. is wonderful. And I'll tell you, because of the growth that's happening all around the country, I'm so excited to bring this to Oxford because it's where I live. Linus encourages us to just build in our backyard. Mm -hmm. I think that speaks to the integrity of the company and the power behind it for because we're in community already. And I, so I want to tell you, the program is growing, and I'm very committed to growing it here. I've had a couple meetings local. There's a, um, merchants in Oxford yes. that are now, um, part, we have one participating. That would be Uncle Boomba's. They are mm -hmm. already a merchant. You can register with them now. We have another merchant that's coming on board soon. Very excited about that. And we have um, a special for new merchants. Oh my. And this is exciting. Yes. Because, you know, marketing piece, this is a, a co-branded card with Lioness. It's a Lioness card. And here's the logo of uh, Dr. Stern. He's a podiatrist in Southfield. Mm -hmm. He's one of our merchants. How exciting. Now, I'm carrying around. I can promote him with this card. Mm -hmm. But we have a special that our merchants coming on board with Lioness here in Oxford will get a fully branded card. 500 of them come with the program. And this is what their customers can carry with them 
their logo. Everywhere they go, they can show this to their family and friends. And that's, that's even taking referral marketing a step higher because I'm referring them and you can see their logo. Actually, right. Their brand is now being you know, promoted. So I am looking for merchants who want to come on board, get more information at least. At least. And that 500 cards is exciting. Your first 500 customers who register are walking around with your card and they can take your card and use it anywhere in Lioness. Very, and and how, how um, long does it take to register a customer? If you're a merchant and you have your customer in the store, how long does it take? I would say a minute. A minute. Yeah, it's, it's very user-friendly. In fact, the owner, the person at your counter, whoever is you know mm -hmm. working there in your business, um, it's led by the consumer. So your customer self-registers on a tablet and so they are putting their information directly in. You don't have to handle any personal information. And Linus picks it up from there. It's so streamlined and easy. It's a very uh, wonderful, seamless transition for the merchant. They, we're not adding the typical obstacles, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. their time and money of what it takes. So we, so we promote on all social media. So their business will be promoted on Facebook, on Twitter, YouTube. Oh my goodness, there's so much there for our small merchants. And being a small business owner, I just, I'm telling you, I, I love this program. I love what it can bring to our community, but it keeps the shopping dollars local. Mm -hmm. And in fact, if my customer goes shopping outside my community with Lioness, mm -hmm. I still make money as a merchant because of the friendship bonus. And wow. so we are talking shop local on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to say. So I have a, a wonderful event coming up May 20th oh, at sure. the Troy Community Center. Okay. I'm very excited because everyone's welcome to come and get this information. I'll be doing a presentation. It's bright and early, 7.30 to 9.30 a.m., but it'll be worth it because merchants need to get this information. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm, I'm opening up to you know any of our local merchants, anyone who's saying, hey, I'd like more customers. I'd like to increase my sales. And who wouldn't want that? The, the, I just, I'm amazed. Who yeah. would not it's, want to it's have more customers? It's worth their time and due diligence to get this information. And so it'll be a wonderful morning of a lot of information. No decisions have to be made, but, you know, come mm -hmm. and get that information. You can go to loyaltyprogram.com. So okay. www.loyaltyprogram.com. Mm -hmm. And that gives any merchant comp all the information I have said and way more links, uh, YouTube links to videos where other merchants are sharing their experience. Mm -hmm. So I think that's important. That's a wonderful resource for anyone investigating what, what I'm talking about today. Loyaltyprogram.com. Uh, in addition to that, I'm looking for some local uh, entrepreneurial people like myself and who are myself. looking to, you know, <laughs> say, well, that sounds like an interesting yes. program. Mm -hmm. And um, so I'm, I'm wanting to expand here in Michigan. And I have uh, a number. Let me read it to you. 1-800-844-3813 and leave a message and then, you know, I can get back and we can have a conversation about, you know, their interest in learning more about Lioness. And that can be as a shopper mm -hmm. or as a merchant. There's two components here. And this, this 800 number is your 800 number. Yes. They're not talking to corporate. They're, they're actually yes. going to be talking to you, Teresa. Yes, they'll be talking Absolutely to me. Absolutely right. wonderful. Thank you so much, Teresa, for sharing with us today about Lioness. I'm hoping that the Oxford community is going to see what a plus plus win win everything that <laughs> Lioness can be for our community. I hope we so have too. a few uh, merchants that have already signed up. Mm -hmm. We have a few in the pipeline that are uh, getting their uh, ducks in order and they're going to be starting up as well. So the more that we can have within the community here, the better it is going to be. And it's only going to grow and grow and yes, grow. So thank you so much. Thank you, Debbie. And that for uh, Joe will be back with us hopefully next week. If not, you're going to be seeing Deb Uren from the Oxford Chamber of Commerce again <laughs> hosting Daybreak. Thank you so much, everyone, and have a great day.